Hi, I'm Judy Smith. I'm an avid trail rider. I've been trail riding for many years from Battleground, Washington. I'm here to talk to you about some of the do's and don'ts of trail riding. One of the big do's of trail riding is do train your horse before you go out on the trail. Don't wait until you're with a group to start training on a trail horse. It uh, inconveniences everyone else if they have to wait for you. So it's just best to get started on easy trails before you head out on the harder things. Um, there's a lot of trail riding information in uh, trail riding books. Uh, I specifically like this trail rider because it talks about trails, it talks about do's and don'ts, it talks about different aspects of everything. Great mag magazine. And the horse, the horse is also another publication that keeps you up on the health of the horse, which helps. Make sure that your uh, horse is in very good condition and you're in condition before you head out on the trails. If you have a horse that kicks, tie a red ribbon in it. Always be conscientious of your other riders. Uh, never run past another rider. If someone has to stop to go to the bathroom, stop with them so their horse isn't restless and runs off. Um, just always keep safety in mind and try to take other people into consideration when you're riding. When you're crossing bridges or in narrow type places, keep your horse going. Not at a fast clip, but just keep your horse going at a, at a, a nice steady pace. Because if you stop, the horse tends to look and then their hind end tends to go the other way. And sometimes it'll drop off, whether it's a bridge or the trail or whatever. So just keep your horse going. Don't be nervous. Uh, try to sit right in the center of the horse. Keep the horse well balanced. When, Even though you're nervous, try not to convey it to the horse because if you just stay calm, ride through the area, you'll get past it no problems at all. If you tense up and you act like you're afraid, you're going to uh, transfer that over to your horse. And if you really are deathly afraid of a place, if it doesn't look safe to you, if you can't see the ground, your horse hesitates, by all means go ahead and get off, test the ground, lead your horse over. If you're on a narrow place, it's best to stay on the horse if possible so that you can get over it quickly so the horse doesn't nudge you and knock you off. But again, it depends on you and the horse and the situation. Uh, make sure your horse is well shod so you don't have put shoes on so you don't have a shoe falling off on the trail. Um, carry emergency supplies with you, um, bandages for the horse. Um, I don't necessarily carry salve, but um, I do pack um, bandages for me and my horse. And a pad, sanitary napkins work great along with the bandages. In case you wind up with a cut, I carry extra screws for my bridle and I carry a little pieces of leather in case I have to mend the rein. Uh, always take enough water so you stay hydrated. And take your toilet paper and one thing about toilet paper make sure you bury it completely it's horrible to ride down a beautiful trail see white little teepees stuck all over bad bad situation uh, and always always please pack a manure fork in your horse trailer leave no trace ethics are something that we're trying to instill in everybody and that means that all you leave is footprints when, if uh, you clean your horse trailer out, make sure you disperse it out into the brush uh, or put it in a manure bin. Uh, try to pack a, um, a collapsible wheelbarrow with you if possible, but please make sure you have a manure fork. I'm sure there are many, many more do's and don'ts, but just keep good common sense and you won't have any problems at all. Happy trails.